You know, you don't always have to have a big heavy meal for lunch. Sometimes you can save your breakfast until it's lunchtime. And that's what I'm going to do today. Today I'm going to have the Happy Yak Chia Delight with almonds and cranberries for my lunch. If you're interested in seeing what this looks and tastes like, keep watching. So once again, I'm going to have the Happy Yak Chia Delight with almonds and cranberries. And this is from the Happy Yak Express line, meaning that it just takes one cup of hot water, poured into the pouch, let set for 15 to 18 minutes, and you're good to go. Pretty easy. Now, what does it have in it? It has chia seeds, brown sugar, skim milk powder, buckwheat groats, hemp seeds, silvered brown or slivered sorry slivered brown almonds diced cranberries vanilla powder uh, some modified starches natural flavors and orange rind so it's a gluten-free and a vegetarian meal and a meal well yeah I think it is 400 calories for the whole package so you know that should make that would make a good breakfast if you're looking for something in the morning very easy to prepare just boil your water put it in go about your Whatever you need to do first thing in the morning and then come back and enjoy a nice hot breakfast. But today it's going to be lunch. Now don't worry, I do have something I'm going to have with it, so it's not just this. But uh, first thing we need to do is get some water under a boil. All right, I, I don't mind sharing with you. I was a little disappointed this afternoon when I when I got to the location where I'm at right now. I had anticipated that I'd ha be able to have a fire in one of my stoves today. We had a good amount of rain two days ago. Yesterday, the, the uh, fire situation was that we could have fires, and I anticipated that it would be the same today. But I just checked, and the fire ban is back in place. The woods are just still too dry. Apparently, no, nowhere near enough rain to lower the fire risk so uh, no worries I, I brought along an alcohol stove but I'll show you what I was going to use because it's something I've been dying to get out and play with in the woods and that is one of the simple theory pack stoves and this is one of the second generation stoves Mac sent me and uh, I'll talk more about it later this really can't even be much of an introduction because I had wanted the introduction to be with a fire uh, I have two of these and there's a story behind that one which I'll save for another video but this one hasn't been as used as much as the other and it has some modifications made to it which again I'll explain at a later time. I know that Mac shows them being used packed together with things like the Stanley Adventure cook set and some of the uh, larger water bottles and that works well. Uh, that works. Today I'm going to be using a 12 centimeter Zebra which I packed the stove down inside of so you can pack in reverse as well put the stove inside something else alcohol stove today I'm going to use is a Lixada stove from China. It's one of the very inexpensive stainless steel, uh, looks like a Trangia, doesn't have a, a screw on airtight or water or fuel tight lid or anything but and it doesn't have a wick inside which means it's really slow to get going. I've discovered ways of getting it going faster such as the little burn plate or underneath it but I'm not in a rush today. It'll still ignite, it'll still come to a bloom, it'll just take a little longer. So let's get some alcohol in there and I do have a little snuffer for it so I can recover alcohol later. One cup's not going to take a whole lot. I'm going to put that down inside. I About an inch and a half to the top of the burn plate, or the, uh, not even going to use a burn plate for this, to the top of the stove. Get her lit. There we go. Yep. And it does take a bit of time for that to come to a bloom, but uh, might as well start getting any heat that's coming off of it now. So it won't be any speed demon, but it will bring that one cup to a boil reasonably quick. And when it does, that's when we'll come back and mix the hot water in with the Chia Delight with almonds and cranberries. All right, my water has come to a boil. Let's open up the package. See what it looks like. Often I like to rehydrate these meals in something else other than the bag. Uh, just for the convenience of being able to being able to show you. So this is what's a little bit difficult. It's going to be able to show you what the stuff looks like before I add the hot water. I'll try. Hopefully you can see inside there almonds, cranberries, all the other ingredients. All right, my water is boiling hard. 
get it off of the burner. Let's see if I can't put the alcohol stove out. Good. The old sideways hold. Good. Mix the ingredients together. Make sure the water gets to everything. Thought the package was leaking. It's just uh, I spit ran some water down the side of it. it. Scared me for a second. All right, zip lock it up. It's plenty warm out today. It doesn't need a cozy. Put it aside, and in 15 minutes or 18, I'll bring it back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's give it a check. Uh, full disclosure, I checked it at about the 15 minute mark. And it was still very wet, very, very eh, still is actually, very loose. And I'll show you. It's still nice and warm though. Oh, okay, it's a little bit better. I think I was expecting something much thicker. A little bit stuck to the bottom down there. Okay, good. Yeah, I think. Now, what I'm going to do is just reposition the camera and we'll do a taste test. Can't say it looks what I expected it to look like, but uh, that's not everything, is it? We also have to say, what does it taste like? All right, let's have a look. So, what does it taste like? So, I guess I was expecting something very oatmeal-like, something very thick. This is somewhere closer to cream of wheat. Uh, let me give you a show, anyway. You can see it's still quite soft, but let's give it the taste test and see. So the smell is good. The cranberries I can see, the almonds I can see, the chia seeds, the buckwheat. Oh, the flavor is definitely there. Hmm. I could eat that for a dessert, let alone a breakfast let alone lunch, was what I'm eating for right now. Lots of flavor. It's very creamy texture. Everything rehydrated. The almonds just enough crunch, not crunchy, like uh, really hard, but, you know, slivers, so they come apart just nicely. The almonds are, or not the almonds, the cranberries seem to be well hydrated. Chewy. Plenty sweet from the brown maple syrup, or brown sugar, sorry, brown maple syrup. Maple syrup would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. So while I was initially put off by, by the loose texture of it, and it does seem to be thickening it up even as I sit here spooning it, I've actually come to think that maybe I like it like this. Now, I think I'd still like it a little thicker, and maybe that's just what I'm used to. I think I, if I was to do it again, I'd put a little less water in, Maybe put it in a cozy and just sit it aside a little longer. Actually, I don't know if waiting any longer would have mattered. Everything is fully rehydrated, so a little less water, I think. Okay, so I am going to finish this up. But I did say I brought something else along to kind of augment it and make it more of a complete meal. A couple of hard-boiled eggs, my spice kit and hot sauce. And uh, as soon as I finish down that uh, cheetah delight and cranberries, almonds and cranberries, that's what I'm going to have to go with it. And then, we'll just have a few closing thoughts. All right, so what are my thoughts on the Happy Yak Chia Delight Almonds and Cranberries? Once again, the package. Uh, I was surprised. Surprised by the texture. The, it just, I think I was expecting something more oatmeal-like, something thicker, more solid that I'd have to spoon up. This was quite liquid. It was like a loose cream of wheat. But it was interesting, after I turned the camera off, I reflected again on it, and it was like having a, a warm uh, tapioca pudding, if you're familiar with that. Uh, at least the texture-wise. The flavor, outstanding. I, I, I can't say enough about the flavor. Between the sweetness of the brown sugar, the taste of the almonds, and uh, uh, what else is in here with the, give it the flavor? Oh, of course, the, the cranberries and the, and the other things in there. 
Uh, the chia seeds, they, they, I think that's what gave it that tapioca texture. They kind of got jellied, for the lack of a better descriptor. Um, yeah, it was, it was good tasting, just not what I expected to see when I opened the package. What would I do differently next time? Well, I guess two things. One, I could have reduced the amount of water. It said 250 mils or one cup. I left it for a good 18 minutes. Alternatively, and this is the optimal, optional method, or optimal method they call it, I could have added 300 mils of water, just a little bit more than a cup, simmered it for two minutes, and then set it aside for five to ten minutes. I don't know if that would have made a, dix, a difference in the, in the texture of it. If I have any more packages of this at home, maybe I'll try that the next time. So what are my final thoughts? It was good. It was tasty. Just bear in mind what it's it may not meet your expectations of what it's going to look like when you pour it out of the package. Other than that, like I said, flavor was right on. Okay, a simple breakfast for my lunch. That's what this was, topped off by a hard-boiled egg and some hot sauce. Hard to beat, right? Okay, that's all I have. Get out and explore. Take that path, less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.